my beautiful bitches, it's me, Fiona St. James, and welcome to another episode of Fiona's Coffee Talks. And as always, I like to start off every day with a fresh, hot, black cup of coffee. Hold the cream! I'd love to. And of course, I think of my favorite quote of the century by Oscar Wilde, which says, life is too important to be taken seriously. So lighten up, folks. Okay, so today's topic is, drumroll please, life of a sex worker part four. Okay, so here's another funny story. Funny-ish, I guess. Uh, so, had this client, and as I had mentioned in my prior videos, a lot of times I get these really hot clients. So this one was no different. This one was actually extremely good looking, beautiful face, beautiful body, beautiful everything. And uh, first time I met him was when I was working at the agency, you know, where I would see like 10 clients every Tuesday, Saturday. So I was, you know, I was only 22. So, you know, I was always like a pretty boy. So. This particular client, like most other ones, predominantly straight, and then said to me, he was like, oh, uh, you know, you're really pretty. Do you by any chance ever dress up? And I had just started dressing in drag like that same year because this is the first year of doing drag, turning tricks. So I was like, yeah. And, you know, he asked me for my number. So I kind of did a no-no and gave him my number so he could contact me directly. And I was living in Astoria. Queens, the very first apartment I had. So he uh, booked me and, and hired me to come over and see me as Fiona. So, and it was the first time that I was ever doing that where I was mixing the two because my drag for me has always been an artistic thing. Never, you know, about making money doing it that way. You know, that's always been the boy in me that's been the sex worker. So, Comes to the door, I was all decked out. I'll, I'll never forget, I was wearing this like leather dress that kind of, it was like this pedal front and back uh, blonde wig. I was completely decked out. And this man walks through the door and he was like, whoa, like he obviously liked what he saw. And he was, as I said, one of the finest men I'd ever been with. So we're like, you know, doing the massage. And, but then of course, you know, it, it was, much more than that like and we had already established that ahead of time so you know you charge accordingly uh and he was like you know he was built and like very well equipped down there so i was prepared to for him to be the top and me the bottom which is what i am plus i'm also thinking if you gonna be a man hiring another man to dress as a woman isn't that what you would want so i thought before i knew it uh he was like, I want you inside of me. And I was like, who, what? And the thing is like, you gotta understand, I'd never ever done that before. Like, you know, organically I'm a bottom, but I was so turned on by him and I never ever, I'll never forget. Like, you know, we're going out of fooling around, kissing, you know, oral, all of that good stuff. And uh, to be graphic here, I was very like rock hard because I was that turned on by him. And then all of a sudden when he wanted me to do that, you know, I had the condoms and lube and thinking he was going to put it on. And then before I knew it, I put it on and didn't even take the, the dress off because since it was the pedal in the front and I was wearing like thigh high stockings, I was able to just like move the pedal to the left and I was in my dance belt. So I was able to just, you know, take my penis out on the side without even taking that off, which was great because I never really like ruined the illusion. And then honey, before I knew it, Fiona the top, right? And I was like, huh? Like I was so confused that that was even happening, but it was like rather exciting and new. And the truth of the matter was I loved it. I was great at it uh, and he enjoyed it as well. So who knew that as a bottom, the very first time that I would be a top, it took me dressing as a woman to then be a top with a hot, hunky, straight man. And then, you know, come to find out years later that a lot of straight guys out there that are into like drag queens or trans that, that still have their, their wee wee, <laughs> they want to be on the receiving end. You know, I was so new to all of it, you know, dressing up and even doing massage and escorting that it just completely threw me off guard. But as a Pisces, I am very adaptable. So I went with the flow. I had a wonderful time, made great money. And I ended up seeing him for like, you know, 
couple of years to follow. And, and he became a steady client. And I always knew that I would dress up and we would do that. So that was the, the birth of Fiona at the top. Who knew? And then, you know, of course, that doesn't happen very often because, I mean, look at me. How many people are going to look at me and be like, girl, I want you to be a top? Not many. So, <laughs> but that story has always stuck out in my mind because it's so like far from who I actually am. But I, apparently, you know, when you do this line of work, you go with the flow and any and everything can turn you on. So that's the scoop. That's the story. Uh, don't forget, subscribe if you have not. Thumbs up, of course. And uh, as always, I love that you guys are here. And till the next time, love you.